Welcome back, everybody. Uh, just to give you a little update, a little inside baseball about what just happened. This is part two of our show this week. Uh, YouTube actually just kicked us off because we were showing an NHL tweet from NBC and there's some copyright stuff going on there. Even though we're allowed to show tweets, you know, I, I think that they, you know, supposedly we broke policy. Who the hell knows what it is anymore? You should be able to show tweets on this show. But anyways, uh, we just finished up talking about that Caps um, uh, New York Rangers brawl game uh, from last week. Um, so moving on, we're sticking with the NHL because playoffs are just around the corner. The Bruins' first NHL playoff game is actually on Friday. So we're just going to talk a little bit about you know the Bruins' upcoming playoff matchup with the Caps. Um, and I know a lot of people are excited about that. So, Brennan, you're going to kick things off. Yeah, I mean, first, hopefully we get our caller to call back in because he had a great question. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, Bruins and Capitals, I mean, we talked about this. If you go back shows a long time ago, we had it on there because Zdeno Chara moved over there. Um, so we were talking about this matchup in the preseason and how they were going to have to pretty much play them tough all season, especially with our captain moving over there. But now come to find out we're going to have to go through them in the playoffs. So I think this has always been one of those games where it's a, it's a rivalry game between these two teams. Um, so it's going to be a tough series. I think the Bruins can definitely come out ahead, especially if our first line can play tough. We get some great games out of Bergeron. Um, I think he has really got to be the leader here. And obviously we got to get some good goaltending and some good defense. I think that is really one of the things that I get, think that gets overlooked in hockey a lot is the defensive line and how good they play and, and keeping the puck out of their zone and keeping it away from the net and cleaning things up around the net. I think that's huge. What if they can do whatever they can do to help the goaltender, I think that's huge. But I think it gets overlooked a lot um, by the, the average fan because everybody wants to see the goals scored and the fights, like we said. Um, but I think, you know, goaltending is really what it's going to come down to. And then, you know, obviously you got the two stars mashed up against each other. When you got, you know, the Capitals with um, Ovechkin and you got, you know, Bergeron for the Bruins. So it's, I think, whose star can really make more of an impact on the series is going to be big as well. No question. I mean, if you look at the regular season match between these two teams, the Caps actually beat the Bruins four out of seven of the regular season matchups. They played each other seven times. But if you look at the losses, the first loss to the Caps uh, for the Bruins was in overtime. They lost four to three. Second loss was in a shootout. They lost two to one. Third loss, they got spanked. They lost 8-1. to one. Uh, um, Vladar was in net, so he's like their third goalie now, so they don't even use him anymore. And then that was right before they made the trade for Mike Riley. They actually made it that night, and the next day they traded for Taylor Hall. So then the next game they played the Caps with those guys now on the team. They won 6-3, to three, and then they actually just lost yesterday 2-1. to one. Uh, and a close one in a game where I, you know, it's just so weird to have a regular season game right before you're about to have a seven game playoff series with the same team. So I almost don't even count that one. So it was really only one bad loss in there for the Bruins against the Caps. And like I said, it was right before they acquired Mike Riley and Taylor Hall, who have been outstanding for them since the trade deadline. 